Awesome. So basically everything starts life in here. Uh, we have all of our copper kind of stored up under the machine here and on the walls, just different thicknesses. Um, but everything will come in here as a flat sheet. Uh, from there it's going to get loaded onto our CNC router uh, where we will then kind of cut our shapes and parts and everything that you see kind of stored over here on these shelves that are just, you know, raw parts ready to go. So that way, if we're building a 10 gallon or a 20 gallon or whatever it is at the time, you know, we can come over and grab the parts we need and take it on into the shop. So from there, it would get brought into here, all the parts, um, come over to one of these here tables um, where we will, you know, take our measurements, make marks. Um, and then from there, we you know, do all of our folding, rolling, beading. Um, the most part happens over here. We've got a feed roller over there as well. So you'll go from you'll kind of go from here to here. Yep. You'll end up with yep, so stuff marked up and yep, some so cans. Yeah, so the raw raw materials over there will eventually get brought over here. We'll put you know marks on it for beads. Uh, over here we have you know some seams, um, and then from there they'll get basically the seam rolled in it, the edges will get folded over on it, um, and they'll be kind of turned into what's over here now. Uh, we've got basically some cylinders ready to go that'll be uh, still bodies once they get put together. Uh, once they get put together, we'll roll beads in them. Um, so they you can kind of see will look like that, which A, looks really awesome and pretty, but it also gives a lot of structural integrity as well. That way you can use a little bit thinner copper instead of having to use really, really thick exactly, material. Exactly, yeah. yep. Um, so, and then, you know, this is a vapor cone here, same thing. It'll get, you know, the seam will get measured out. We'll roll it um, into a cone. And then once it gets put together. How do you fasten, how do you put the edges together? Well, what do you guys use for doing that? Uh, so we use solder, uh, basically just regular old silver solder, plumbing solder. Um, Lead free. Lead free. Yep, lead free is an <laughs> important ingredient. <laughs> um, so, and then, yeah, from there, once all the parts are kind of put together, if I had something I could show you, but they eventually are going to turn into, you know, these guys over here. Um, so these are these are just waiting for some final touches? Yep, so these are waiting. These are, all these stills have been matched up with their thumpers and they've been connected to their thumpers. The thumper is now waiting to get connected to its worm or condenser, which um, those are back there. They don't have coils in them yet. So these are kind of in progress of being built. Uh, and then from there, from it goes there, once to- Once they're finally all put together and ready to go out the door, they come over to this big wash bin over here. Uh, we call it washing the dishes, uh, but basically they just get polished um, with some copper copper polish um, and they get rinsed and then set over here where all these boxes are normally uh, to dry. Um, and at that point they're ready to go out the door. They're nice and pretty and shiny and um, then they get put into all these big boxes and the FedEx man shows up and cusses us. So. <laughs> awesome.